Welcome and thank you for watching this video on how Telium can help Unilever perform data enrichment using the Telium Visitor Service. My name is Nuraj Kawal and I will be your presenter today. So today we'll talk about how you can send a call to the Telium Visitor Service to retrieve and enrich the page with user profile data. There are two scenarios. The first scenario is having a visitor ID embedded within a URL deep link that the recipient uses to visit the Unilever brand website. So when a visitor ID is available on the page, a call is then made to the Telium Visitor Service with that visitor ID. If a user profile exists with that same visitor ID, data layer enrichment will occur and that data will be available within the page for personalization or other uses. The second scenario we talked about is an unknown visitor to a Unilever website that logs into their account. So that could be social login or other forms of login. When that login occurs, again, a visitor ID is available and a call is then made in a similar way to the Telium Visitor Service. And then as a result, any corresponding user profile with the same visitor ID uh, will allow for data lay enrichment to occur. And that data is then passed back into the page for use by Unilever. So we're now going to start with Telium IQ. What you can see here is an identifier field within the data layer. Now this is a consolidation of two email fields. The first one being a jQuery parameter field for email, which is what we'll be using for the URL for scenario one, and a customer email JavaScript field, which will be used for the login via the page. Now these are both merged into this one identifier field by using an extension. And this is it here. And so you'll see within the data layer, I found the jQuery parameter for email and then mapped that to the identifier variable. And then I found the customer email and mapped that to the identifiers also. So this now, this one variable represents both scenarios. So we're now gonna demonstrate making a call to the Telium Visitor Service and then pulling in a user profile into the page for personalization and other uses. So on the left hand side you can see a demo website and on the right hand side is Telium Audience Stream which we'll be using to view the events that are occurring as a result. So what I'm first of all going to do is look at the data object and you'll see it's mainly content from the page that's populated at this stage. So what I'm now going to do is run that trace and that should see me coming as a new visitor an unknown individual at this stage. So you can see a new visit has started and I'm flagged as an unknown individual. So we talked about um, using the identifier field to pull in both the jQuery email value and the JavaScript page email value uh, from the login account. So I'm now going to go to this deep link with this email address associated with it. And so from here, as a result, you know, calls will be made and that data will be populated within the page itself. So now if I come here and go to you tag the data again, You should now see some more information within the page. 
So you can see now there's now some audience data. There are badges available. Flags are appearing, metric values, string values, date values. There's a lot more information now within this data object, including tallies for what products people have clicked on and viewed and so forth. So now all of this can be used for personalization and other use cases that you have in mind. Now you, you'll also notice that these same audiences are available within this UI here as well, just to show the enrichments occurring. And you'll see that the stitching had occurred and that this try ID is now available within this UI as well. Now, just to reiterate, this calling process we've just seen was from the query string parameter uh, that I had passed in the URL. But if I had logged in, the exact same thing will occur again because I pushed or merged those two values into the single identifier field that I showed you beforehand. Finally, thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it insightful. If you have any questions, you can contact myself, Niraj Kawal, or my colleague, Adam Butcher. Thank you.